back cameras working. Um, so today, let me see, I would like to do a video on not cooking, but on my top appliances that I love in the kitchen. Now, as you know, I'm up here at my lake house and I've been complaining for the past 150 days that I hate these appliances. And my husband was kind enough to bring me my appliances from our primary residence. So I have both of them here. And I'm gonna go through what I don't like about the ones that were here at the lake and why I like the others. And this is not just for you to make your dog food, this is for you also. It's how to make your cooking more enjoyable and more efficient. And I hope you can see me, I'm not used to using this backlight. Okay, so we're gonna start with um, the slow cooker. Now first I'm gonna show you, I have the appliances in the back that I don't like. It's raining outside. So this is a slow cooker, it's, it's nice. There's really not that much wrong with it. But what I don't like about it is that it's small. So if you buy bones, you can't fit a lot in there. And what I also don't like is that this top, when you wash it, water gets in it, so you have to unscrew it each time to take all the water out. Otherwise, it's gonna build mold. I also don't like the way it cleans up. You definitely have to really scrub it and definitely have to put a rack or something down the bottom so it's easy to clean. So now we'll go over to the slow cooker that I love. This is my Ninja. This is a three-in-one. They also have a four-in-one now, but the four-in-one is just like the three-in-one. You can get one of these, I think like for $69 at Target. I love, love this slow cooker. But it's not just a slow cooker. If you see, it has a stove top setting. So uh, let's talk about human food. If you wanted to make tacos for your family, you could put it on a slow top setting, okay, to cook your meat uh, for tacos or maybe like chili. And then you put it on the slow cooker setting to let it cook all day. So you don't have to wash a frying pan, you're just washing one pan. Um, it also has an oven setting. I don't really like that because I feel it burns on the bottom. So I don't use it for that. And it has a stay warm setting, like a buffet setting for like six hours. I love it. I love this. I keep it out on my counter at home because I use it all the time to cook the meat for the dog. It's much better for doing brome broth because it's longer, so you can fit more in it. What I don't like about it is that, I don't know if you can see, but it scratches on the bottom. And I only use nylon utensils with this, and it's still scratched, but I called up Ninja, and they sent me a free one because it was still under warranty. I love this slow cooker. Okay, so now let's go over to the blenders. Blenders are not just for making margaritas or daiquiris. I use my blender for the dog food, not for the dog food, but when I buy uh, pumpkin seeds, it's phenomenal to grind them up. Or if I buy flax seed, I grind it up. Now, this is the one that I had here at the lake. I hate it. I just hate it. You've seen me <laughs> try to figure out how to open and close it. I finally figured out you have to keep the uh, arrows together. But look at this, this is just so dangerous, Jesus. I mean, you drop this, you can kill your dog. You know, or whatever, kill your, your floor. I, I just don't like it, and I've tried to do like watermelon slushies in it, and it doesn't blend right for frozen stuff. Uh, I just hate it. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the mother of all blenders the Vitamix. Now this is an expensive blender. I think maybe it was 300, 399. They have several. You can probably get it at Costco for 269. 
Uh, Costco also sells Blendtec. My son has that. He likes it better than the Vitamix. So Blendtec, B-L-E-N-D-T-E-C, or Vitamix are the best, best blenders out there on the market. Now this is an old one. I got this, I think, on QVC. Uh, the newer ones come with a liquid and a dry container. And if you can get that, I would recommend it because I feel that this must be the liquid container. It's phenomenal for making uh, any kind of frozen smoothies. Uh, it does come with a tamper that you stick in the bottom in here. And oh my goodness, I forgot to have my husband bring it, so I have to look into that. Um, what do I use it for for dog food? Well, I just told you, I use it for, um, definitely for pumpkin seeds uh, that I put into my Omega Mix for cup of kibble recipes. I have made peanut butter with this. I have made cashew butter, almond butter, um, you know, frozen daiquiris or frozen smoothies. It's the bomb. I love it. I wish I had a liquid container. Um, and look, there's no, let me open this. There's no blade that you have to take out with this. This is it. It doesn't, it doesn't, you can't see that. It doesn't fall out. You never take that out. So you're not going to be killing your dog or breaking your kitchen floor. Um, it's great. I would go online and uh, go to QVC if you wanted just to see their uh, video shows and you'll be sold. You know, there's certain things I feel uh, if you're a real cook that you need to invest in. Why don't you put that, the Vitamix down and the Ninja down for a Christmas gift. Okay, the next thing we're gonna go over with, and I think you all can guess from watching my videos, is the food processor. Oh my God, this food processor is like 35 years old and it's still going strong, don't get me wrong. And it has all the attachments for shredding and slicing, yada, yada. But it's not big enough to make dog food, even for an 11 pound dog, it's not big enough. If you were going to make a recipe with two pounds of beef and all the vegetables that go with it, you're gonna hate this. You've seen in my videos how I hate it. I can't say enough. It's not big enough. So what you have to do is get a 14 cup food processor. Ta-da! I can't believe I got this back. I love this thing. Um, see how big it is? It's so much bigger. You can put the two pounds of meat, all your vegetables and everything in it. It mixes, it doesn't overflow, it doesn't leak and you're just not wasting time. Your time, time is money, okay? And you wanna make cooking easy and pleasurable. Now this uh, contraption that I got on QVC um, also comes with a smaller bowl you can put in it and it came with all the, the discs and a dicing thing. I didn't have my husband bring that down because uh, I'm only gonna use this uh, for dog food, and I have another small uh, KitchenAid that I can make hummus with. So, these are my top three um, appliances that I feel that are needed. If I had to put them in order, I would say food process is the number one, uh, slow cooker, and you know what? If you can't get the blender, that's okay. You maybe can do your, I don't even think you can do your pumpkin seeds in the in here because you see this blade you really can't see but it's up it's not down so while i have you i was just going to show you two more appliances that i like that are not dog food related they're people related um i love grilled chicken but i don't like grilling out when it's really hot and i bought this on amazon oh where's the name the name's on the other side just one moment a friend of mine from facebook it's also a big cook. She recommended it. That's the name. It's around $85 or $89 right now. It's electric. And I love this thing for making grilled chicken. 
because right now at the lake, I've been having to put it in my fry pan with some butter and oil, and it's delicious, but I don't want to be eating all that butter and oil. I just want to marinate it in some oil and then put it on the grill and let everything drip. And the cleanup is so easy with this. Let me show you. This you just wash in your sink. It's also dishwasher safe, but I don't put it in the dishwasher. And I'm holding a dog, so bear with me. This is the drip pan. And what I do is I always put foil under it. And then I just have to, you know, throw that in the garbage instead of having to um, clean a drip pan that has grease on it. And my last um, item, and I haven't told my husband I bought this. Uh, we've been married now, I don't know, 37 years. And for our first Christmas, my husband gave me a KitchenAid. And I love it, but I wish it would die because I wanted a, a different color. I have like a bland almond color. Well, I wanted to get one. I got this on Facebook, Mar Facebook Marketplace. I got it for like $150. It was brand new, still in the box. The woman got it for a gift and she already had one. And what I like about a stand mixer, you don't have to get a KitchenAid, but this is the mother of all uh, kitchen, a uh, mother of all stand mixers. What I like about it, my very first recipe I made was cookies and it said, um, blend butter and sugar for six minutes. I mean, who the F is gonna stand there for six minutes with a little hand mixer and do that? So you just turn it on and you let the blender do the work. And if you're not familiar with the KitchenAid, it comes with three attachments that are standard. This is to make cookies and, I gotta wash that better, cookies and bread. Uh, well, hold on one second here. Ah, uh, well, I can't get it off. I have a dog in my hand, you have to understand that. This one is to do egg whites. It is phenomenal for making egg whites. Again, you just put it in and come back in like five or six minutes. And this one that you really can't see because I'm holding it is the dough hook to make uh, bread. And if you want to grind your own meat for your dog, um, I don't do that. I don't think I'll ever do that. But all kitchen aids, I don't care if you get one from 1930. You just unscrew this and you put the KitchenAid meat grinder attachment or you can buy a, um, there's other attachments like if you wanted to do, you know, spaghetti, zucchini, whatever. They have several attachments. You can go on uh, QVC or Amazon or KitchenAid. So I'm not here to promote any of this stuff. I'm just here. Hi, I hope you can see me. I'm just here to share what makes um what makes your kitchen run smoothly okay easy cleanup easy doing it you know you have to pay a little bit more it's like people don't want people want to buy cheap cheap kibble and they think they're saving money no you buy cheap kibble and you're going to the vets a lot this dog where is she she's down here right now this dog doesn't go to the vet. We just go for well visits because she eats real food. It's the same thing with your appliances. You can buy crap, like this Ninja Blender. Oh, my New York's coming out. And you're gonna get crap. You're gonna get just, ex I mean, I was just like, oh, I hate this thing. I wanna throw it out. So, um, you know, put this on your wish list or go on Facebook Marketplace, see if they're selling one. But again, this um, Ninja, slow cooker you can get this i know for really cheap because this is a three in one and now they have better ones but this is fine i use it all the time in the fall and winter to make soups and and chilies you know for me uh but anyway that's it and oh this video went long i hope that uh you enjoyed it and again i get no money back from all this i just want to share information okay bye bye